Hey guys, it's garden update time. Alright, see my flowers are blooming over here. And um, so you can see the mustard greens are doing really good. Um, hopefully we get some rain. I was hoping we get some rain, but I don't like it's going to happen. Still picking raspberries, still picking them. The watermelon down there that volunteered is spreading. The That is the sunflower that volunteered over by the mulch pile. Uh, the leeks, these are my leeks that made it. I've been, I've been healing them up. The peppers are starting to grow. Um, you can see the cucumbers are starting to grow up. The trellis, and we got more so we can add another level to that trellis if we need to as the cucumbers grow. The Chinese cucumbers, my basil, my cilantro, basil, cilantro. I like basil and cilantro a lot. That's the Thai basil down there. The sweet onions, they're growing really good. The regular onions, the purple and the yellow onions. Um, and I've been pinching the tops off the ones that's trying to uh, trying to get seed heads on them. The rutabaga over here that I'm just leaving them alone. So they can do their thing. The rutabaga over here, as you can see. I will be cooking some more of these rutabaga leaves with some more mixed greens. Uh, it was very tasty. My peas are spreading. My kushal is just huge. Next year, I'll be planting it by itself uh, somewhere. <laughs> but it is having a great time. Um, my okra are starting to grow. Those are my okra plants down there. And then those are the rutabagas. When I, when I make my greens, I'm going to thin them out and use them in my greens. Um, my sassafras is doing good. I'm going to have to take this cage from around it this fall. When, it's, when it loses all its leaves. And I think I'll leave the sassafras there. And uh, if it looks like it's getting too big, then we'll transplant it. We'll move it uh, somewhere else in the yard. I don't want my garden to end up becoming, you know, un, like garden-like stuff. So you see my yellow squash down there. They're doing great. And uh, my... I can, I've been weeding, as you can see. These are the uh, seven pot, seven top peppers that I planted. They they burn a little bit, but they're still alive. And then I moved that tomato plant over here, the one that was having trouble. These tomatoes are starting to get flowers on them. And um, yeah. And um, over there, like I dumped like a bunch of the weeds and stuff over there to add, so as it breaks down and add fertilizer to the potatoes, and uh, help with some of the weeding. So when we cut grass again, I'm dump some more stuff over there to help out with that. This tomato plant, the one that volunteered that I moved over here, it has tomatoes on it. See, and um, but I'm still not sure. If they're going to be cherry tomatoes, if they're going to get bigger. So it's going to be a surprise. And I'm letting it naturally spread. So it will be laying down and, and putting roots down and spreading over here. As you can see, my sunflowers, the ones that volunteered that survived the winter, they're starting to get heads on them. And I think these are some of my Russian mamas from last year. And that's some of my Russian mamas over there. Um, but the ones that volunteered are doing better than the ones over there this year. They're further along, the volunteers. Here's another one. And I love these guys. The the um the finch. I love watching the finch out here. Uh these squash, I can't remember which type these are. I don't know if they're the round zucchini or some more straight neck squash. The leaves are different. It could be, it's not cantaloupe, so it's definitely some kind of squash. I just don't remember what it was. Hopefully it's it might be more kushaw. I don't know. I don't remember what I planted. We'll see. Um, those peppers are doing good over there. And uh, these peppers are starting to grow good over here. Uh, there's a couple of strawberries from the younger strawberry plants. They're not red yet. And um, the watermelons are growing slow. But they're growing. We get some water, they'll go, they'll go bonkers. And then this is a, I think these are round zucchinis, this plant here. I'm not sure. But we'll see. We'll see. 
You can see the plants are very healthy. They're doing great. And I've been weeding. Um, so, yeah. These cucumbers here are doing good. I can't remember if they're the Chinese or the Space Savers. But um, they were planting a couple weeks after the ones up front. If I get some good rain, I won't be able to pick them fast enough. But like I said, these are the these are the rutabagas. And I will be coming out here and I'll be thinning these out and using them and cooking with them. They'll be real tender, real nice. This is a Chinese uh, cucumber. And as you can see, it has probably got an ant biting me. It, um, hang on. Something biting the snot at me. As you can see, they're getting flowers on So, we'll be getting some of those soon, hopefully. And then this is my mustards. I got slug traps set up over here because the slugs were getting into my mustards. Um, here's another volunteer. I've decided to thin out my lilies. I'm going to be planting them. I'm thinning them out. Either that or just completely moving them out of the garden area and around, the, put them around the house to spruce up the house a bit. Because, you know, I don't really do, like, yard flower stuff. So I need to kind of pretty up my front yard and stuff. So, so that's the garden update. Um... I'm real happy with how things are starting to turn around out here. I just got to try to keep on top of these weeds, uh, which is kind of hard to do when you're working full. I'm working full time again, so I basically just have some of the afternoon and some of the weekend. God, I wonder what bit me. It hurt uh, to work on those. I have my bug spray because <laughs> it's some big mosquitoes out here. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. This is one of my cabbage that I transplanted, and it's like it's going to make it. And once again, more calorie, the more I pull up, the more it's popping up. So, yeah, it's a little grass over here because I didn't want to mess with nothing over there. And I'm thinking some of the thyme, yeah, see this is thyme. This is some of the thyme that I planted, and it survived. Mmm, smells good too. So... I need to pull some of these weeds out. Actually, I should probably pull some of this thyme out and dry it. I ain't bit the snot out of my leg. God. Mm, mosquitoes are huge. Carry you away. So that's that. That's the update. Uh, my knee, I feel like something inside my knee is not happy, which is probably because I was using the shovel yesterday. This cilantro is doing really, really, really well. Let me show y'all some of these um, kushals over here. If I can find some of the big ones. This is from, like I said, this is from two two plants that my daddy so gave me some seeds. And this is from two plants that's gotten big like this. This is one of my Space Saver cucumbers. And they got cucumbers all on them. I just need some rain. Rain. Oh, yeah, okay. So, I'm deciding not to let them get any bigger than this. So, I've been, uh, you know, cutting the vine down so um, so it doesn't get any bigger. So, there's two. They, 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 they root down. Um, see where these forks are? They actually spread roots. So, it's like a bazillion little plants forming. And this is my flowers. is up under there. Um, I, didn't get, I stopped weeding because I was getting too hot the other day. I was out here too long and my skin suffered from it. These squash, I'm not sure which ones they are, but they have little teeny, if you look down there, ones forming. I forgot which ones these are, and I don't know where the stake is that says where they are, not what they are now. Um, they've been making plenty of flowers. It might be a bunch of male stuff. I haven't seen anything edible. That's uh, potatoes. You see those little weird hanging flowers? That's potatoes. And there are lightning bugs out here. So, all right. So I'm gonna go do what I came out here to do, which is um, spray Taylor's doghouse to help him avoid some of these mosquitoes. You can see my my tan. I got a nice tan now. You can still see where the sun is just eating my skin up with these. That's uh, so. Yep. That's the garden. We we'll do the 360. <laughs> well, not 360. 180. Alright guys, take care.